abortions and baby stuff. This is like the one, the number one um, site for abortions in the whole Kern County area. So a lot of people come here from everywhere. So we try to offer like a way to go to get your services that you need elsewhere, so you don't spend your money here. Okay. Are you here for? An, I don't want to dig in private. Are you here for an abortion or anything no, like I'm that? No, I'm just here for a drive For a what? For a checkup. Oh, okay. Yeah, like a year. Later. Okay. So definitely, there's some places in there that next time that you um, need a group that you can go, and then they don't do what they do here. Today, they're actually doing surgical abortions. Oh. Um. So that's why we're here because the abortionist is here, and they're doing like up to how many weeks did they do abortions up to here? Sixteen. Here. Yeah. They've done them up into up, up into the 20, 20 something yeah. weeks. Oh my god. Yeah. So just to let you are aware of what's okay. going on here, all right? Okay. Thank you. you. Do you profess to be a Christian, ma'am? Yeah, you have a cross there. Or is that a rosary? Catholic. Catholic. Do you know where you're going to go when you die? Because that's the most important thing. Is Hopefully it... heaven. Well, do you, do you know? I mean, what what do you, what would happen if you died today? Where would you go? Um, like I said, hopply heaven. Hopefully heaven. But well, what, if you trust in Christ for yeah. your forgiveness of your sins and you've repented, you can trust Him. And it won't be hopefully heaven, it will be heaven because you've trusted in him and he is the propitiation for you. Because it, that's why Jesus that's, that's why Jesus Christ died on the cross. Yeah. Because you can't work your way to heaven, we can't work our way to heaven. Yeah. Christ already did the work on in he already did the work on the cross. You just have to humble yourself, turn away from your sins, repent, and trust in him. And and because you can't live in sin and be a Christian. You can't live in sin and be saved. Right. Because Jesus, Jesus said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Right. So that's what he said. So, I mean, I, I'd, enc I'd encourage you not to even give business to this place today. There are real health care facilities elsewhere. Um, and you already directed it to, to, to other places, right? Yeah, so, there's a whole pamphlet right there. So, yeah, look at that. And, and don't give business, even if, it's, if it seems small to, to these baby killers. Because you, you wouldn't want to give service to the Ku Klux Klan or, Adolf, or, or the Nazis. Right. Uh, so, I mean... And this place is much worse than the Nazis. Mm -hmm. The Nazis murdered millions of people, but these places, they murdered tens of millions of people over the past 50 years. So they're much worse. The Nazis had nothing on these people. Not, not just... Oh, not just. feel so bad to come first. Well, I'm, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just trying to help you understand how, how wicked, not just this place is, but all over across the country. I'm just trying to help you understand that we condemn Adolf Probably Hitler. We, did, we, we condemn Adolf Hitler and the Nazis, and they should be condemned. But, but we're much worse as a country because we've murdered tens of millions of human beings. And everybody says it's it's good. They're calling evil good for now. Like they did with slavery. They called it good. You can do that. And everybody agreed until they didn't agree. And you one, know what I'm saying? Right. one day we're going to look upon this mm -hmm. when this is finally over, finally when the, the murder of children is abolished. And we're going to ask ourselves, how did they tolerate it as Americans? And I mean, I, I talk to service workers who come in to fix the air conditioning, to bring food in, supplies in, and they say, I'm just doing my job. And I tell them, just doing your job means people get murdered. That's what they said in Nazi Germany, I'm just doing my job. But then they were condemned at the Nuremberg trials. Those are the trials for the Nazis, the Nuremberg trials. And so I'm just trying to help you understand, we're both trying to help you understand how... No, 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 I understand. Okay. It just... Uh, I know it's. I know it can hit hit someone hard because they haven't thought about these things before. No, and I actually haven't. I mean, um, you guys are bringing up very valid points, but I'm still gonna have to go in because this is well, the only place you, I can get my birthday. You don't. You don't have. You don't have to. She just gave you information. No, I know, but this is the only place where I can get my birth control checked because they put it in. So I mean, I've tried going elsewhere okay. because I don't live in Bakersfield. And have you have you tried the places? What, what what thing did you give her? Have you tried the places on the information she gave you? So there is um, um, no, different clinics. Do you have a Marina? Oh, it's a copper. Do you know the? Do you know what that is? I had the copper. I had the copper Paragard for about five years. Do you know that they cause abortions? No. So the the copper especially causes abortions because there's no um, hormones. So basically what, basically what can happen, the copper does kind of protect in, in a little way, but hardly ever, okay? So you conceive, and the, the Paragard, which is shaped like a T, disrupts the lining of your uterus. So if you are pregnant, the baby is unable to implant, and it just comes out as an abortion. You don't realize that you're having abortions because you are not knowing you're pregnant at all. I can't even tell you how many abortions I probably had having that thing in me for like five years. 
I had no idea. Of course, at the time, I didn't even think about those things. Yeah. I wasn't a Christian. I didn't care. You know what I mean? But after I learned, like, what this thing is, you know, um, it's something to think about. Yeah, okay? definitely. Um, a lot of... A lot do of, some um, research on okay. it because it does cause abortions. A lot of women don't know that. A lot of mothers, they've killed a lot of children not even knowing it. That That's why I, I tell... I tell people that because it's not commonly, uh, it's not common knowledge in this country. Right. I didn't used to know I, didn't know. I didn't used to know any of this. I had to do research, and and you can't believe what the media and this culture tells you because they're they're in rebellion against God. And it's like, well, people may be asking, why am I going to believe you? You're just some guy in the street. Well, I'm a Christian who's we're Christians who are out here um, just to tell people what's going on because if this was a real doctor's office, we wouldn't be here. There wouldn't right. be Christians out here. So, I mean, the fact that we're even out here should tell people that there's something wrong, something seriously wrong. Right. And I just, um, yeah, I mean, there, there, there are places, um, I, I'm not local here, so, but um, Tiffany said that there's there's places here that you can go. I guess you try those places. I, I really, we both encourage you to stay away from this place. You, you don't want baby killers, serial killers to touch your body or have anything to, to, to do with you, I, I would hope. No. I mean, it... Would you would you have wanted John Wayne Gacy or Ted Bundy or Jeffrey Dahmer or Hitler to, to, to have anything to do with you, to touch you, or give you any kind of service? Uh, but these people are much yeah. worse. These people are much worse. Yeah, I understand. And I, like I said, I will do my research, but... Um, okay. okay. Thank you. Thank what, you for what, the what, what, what was your name? Uh, um, okay, that's, that's I'd rather fine. not say um, you have uh, a camera. I, I had to because I was already threatened with violence earlier today. I had a guy get out of his car right here, oh my get God. in my face, and threaten to to, 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 to to beat me up. Okay. Yesterday, I, I had an off-duty cop over there that got in my face and threatened to bust me up. And you know, and they said they don't care if they go to jail. Even when they, I, I tell them that they're being filmed. So, I mean, we got to... That's one reason I film is because we, we get threats out here. I've had people assault me and because I do this all the time and right. so I mean and you can't prove it if you don't get it on camera right so I'm um, but yeah th thanks for talking with us I'm, I'm, I'm Nicholas and Destiny okay Miss Destiny nice to meet you Destiny nice to meet you take care okay thank you yeah, and, you're and we're out here out of love we're not out here because it's comfortable we want to be here believe me I know I know thank you yeah, thank you Miss Tiffany